Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is March 16, 2022, Wednesday of the second week of Lent. The first reading is from the book of Jeremiah. The people of Judah and the citizens of Jerusalem said, Come, let us contrive a plot against Jeremiah. It will not mean the loss of instruction from the priests, nor of counsel from the wise, nor of messages from the prophets. And so, let us destroy him by his own tongue. Let us carefully note his every word. Heed me, O Lord. And listen to what my adversaries say. Lest good be repaid with evil. That they should dig a pit to take my life? Remember that I stood before you. To speak in their behalf. To turn away your wrath from them. Responsorial Psalm Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. You will free me from the snare they set for me. For you are my refuge. Into your hands I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. I hear the whispers of the crowd, that frighten me from every side. As they consult together against me, plotting to take my life. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. In your hands is my destiny, rescue me. From the clutches of my enemies and my persecutors. Save me, O Lord, in your kindness verse before the gospel. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. The gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the Gentiles, to be mocked and scourged and crucified. And he will be raised on the third day. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee approached Jesus with her sons, and did him homage, wishing to ask him for something. He said to her, What do you wish? She answered him, Command that these two sons of mine sit, one at your right and the other at your left, in your kingdom. Jesus said in reply, you do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the chalice that I am going to drink? They said to him, We can. He replied, My chalice you will indeed drink. But to sit at my right and at my left. This is not mine to give. But is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. When the ten heard this, they became indignant at the two brothers. But Jesus summoned them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lorded over them and the great ones make their authority over them felt. But it shall not be so among you. Rather, whoever wishes to be great among you shall be your servant, whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave. Just so, the Son of Man did not come to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Reflection Few lines of the Gospel were eclipsed in the Christian community as quickly as that verse about humble service. And not surprisingly, if the hierarchy took it to heart, what would a gathering of bishops look like? If I took it seriously and lived in the manner of a servant of others, what would be left to make me feel worthwhile? Riches, honor and esteem would disappear, together with my trendy outfits, my house, my car, my education, my desirable job, my nice neighborhood or parish. I'd be forced to rely on my resemblance to you, you lived so simply and were always at service. And I'm your disciple. That's the end of the reflection from the sacred space. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.